What is up? We are back with our platinum playthrough. Let's do this again. Will it be as easy as the previous one? Did I look at that already? Oh no. But I'll bet the goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. I'm sure, but I got other things to do right now. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that the Blevins installed Lambent Orbicular technology on the lower security door, I must admit the auxiliary data center it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes and direct the data stream with the credentials back to the center. Make sure to avoid the red nodes. They use to isolate or corrupt any suspect data. I'm sure someday you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure. Maybe, but first... I gotta look around. Yeah, I'll get on it in a minute, sorry. There's some cool things around, madam. Like this animal figurine. Bear. Nice. Okay. So back to it is here. But we can't just take this to this one. That's not a possibility. So we have two possibilities with this one. We can go here with this one. here okay this doesn't do anything so this is wrong right and this can't go any other place than to there so I don't think that's right I don't think this is right either, actually, because... No, that's not right. So that means it's going to have to come from in there. Which means this is wrong. It's the only way that goes anywhere, huh? And I can go that way now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wrong way. Just keep spinning. You're going to need to get to there. Can I make that point to there? No, right? Nope. And this one needs to go this way. Beautiful. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Another batch transmission returned to schedule task. No, I will not submit. The Orea, the daemon is for me. Orea, please. Transmission terminated. That's wild. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, 
I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened, with patience, with wisdom. I told her things and long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit? After it begged for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was... the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warak of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, 
I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sekuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. What kind of weapon? Before I talk to you, I want to see this weapon. The Shaman's Path. Oh, so many weapon boxes. Don't mind me. Oh. 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 So we got a new weapon. Neat. Or oh, the Warwick. Level 40. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, we still gotta do these too. Yeah, whatever. We'll get on those eventually. Stalkers and long legs. Anyway. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Werek will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Werek. All Banuk strive to be the best. Our harsh lands with very pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Werax of Banaur to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Osaram has equipped a gang in the plume lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sekuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her, 
in Song's Edge, and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. I need to get going. There is much to be done. I agree. All right. We can head out this way, apparently. Nice. Got a little big quest of things to do now. These are in the other area. Level 40. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Whatever, we do it. We try to do it. This looks like a fun way down. Normally I'd fast travel, but I want to run down this. It looks so cool. Ugh, this scrapes. Nice. I thought so. Alright, let's check out what we got going on here. So yeah, we got all that do going. It's another hunting area that we haven't been to like to go here but also here is where I really want to go think of summer sun breeze through the trees can you uh slide down this Aloy <sighs> no 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 she cannot No. Nope. <laughs> Carry on a loy. You are dead now and that brings me no joy. Let's just go to the real part. Oh, did I not open it up yet? Oh my god. So many things. Oh wait, we can disassemble stuff now. That's right. Oh, cool. No uncommons. We get shards for this? Sweet. We'll take it. I'm going to equip this over the sling just because I don't really like the sling. It is unfortunately a, a bit of a run. That's okay. When she hangs in the air like that, I get scared. Oh, hi. Hi. Don't mind me. Just heading in this direction. Jesus, there's so many of them. Nah, I'm good. I don't need to be prepared because I'm good.
Oh, thank you. No me gusta. It's fine, we'll take this path. No one says we have to take the exact path the game wants us to take. See, we can take this one and jump across. <clears throat> no, they're hunting me. No, they're not. It's fine. It must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. We'll do what we can. Creepy. Here's one of the metal birds. Blue gleam. Getting a lot of that. Yeah, crazy. I knew it was gonna be planes. Hello? Blue? Use these. 1200 Ridgewood right now. Not sure we need more of that. Slow mo. I wanted to go this way and I didn't want to like try to jump over that other spot Where's maybe. Door lock? Oh. I'll need to configure it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock and Sierra Echo. <laughs> East southeast. I was like, Echo Zero Echo has its line up with right down right, east south east. Nice little loot room, huh? No space. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. Hmm. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Kenny, to Kenny Chow from Harris Bonner. Ban him. Kenny, I get it. Okay, I really do. Pharaoh is fire breaks patron. Blevins is fire is lapdog. Circle of ass kissing, blah, blah, blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. And I don't know how deep fire breaks pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet. Kenny, why? I imagine you're wondering. Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviors, which let me tell you was not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on firebreak's time. I'm begging you, Kenny, find a way to bar him from the hangar, please. Please. Ooh. Shouldn't be hard to remove. Mine now. All good. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. I'm sure nothing is going to happen as we try to leave, right? Too many shots that way. Oh. 
Oh! I've been hit. I've been hit, boss. <laughs> this thing slaps, though. Just don't get hit and we'll be fine. She's just one hit and I'm dead, dude. No, no, no. Just, are you kidding me? Come on now. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. I mean, this thing is ripping this thing apart. I tried to stop the drop. I see a little puck on there. Come on, quit missing, girl. It's doing such a weird attack. Like, it's not attacking. It's like juking me, the attack. Like, I try to dodge and I walk into it and it, it's like, oh, hello. Er -der -der. Yeah, it is up there. That's what I thought. Quit missing, please. It's shots are so random, bro. It's shots are so random. We're going to be here for a hot minute. It's just, it's, it's shots are so random. Like if I hold still, will it, will it miss? Beautifully done, Aloy. Way to drop down there. Stop falling, Aloy. So, while you're down there. It's unfortunate, little buddy. What are you doing? Don't mind me. The misses are just astounding. God, how much health do you have? There we go. 5,500 XP for killing that. That's how much health it has. Okay, fair. 
Jesus. I said I ripped parts off, but I guess they're not around. That's fine. This thing does damage, though. I mean, not much considering how much health things have, but you know, if things didn't have as much health, damage. So this thing will improve my spear, huh? I'm always down for spear improvements. Um, I think I'm gonna go over here first, just in case there's like a fast travel point there. And I might honestly just do the quest, who knows, but. Uh, no, it's a prank. Uh, Aloy, do not get stuck on a log, thank you. Are you kidding me? The thing just sniped me. Just, I heard the and then my back and I was dead. Ugh. So this thing will improve my spear, huh? What the heck? Hey, at least we didn't get spotted this time. That's crazy, dude. That's not natural. There should be a save point up here. And I know you guys want to see the end of this quest, so we're definitely going to go take this. We're going to fast travel back to this guy and see what it does to our spear, but. First, I wanted to get the point up here. Because I knew there would be a campfire up here. Had no doubt. Also, we'll check out this merchant because we have like all those blue gleams now. Is that like what you do? No, yeah, see, look, you're the blue game guy. 16 for this big thing, though. Not yet. All right, let's travel back. Jeez, that's far. Didn't realize how much area we've taken over. I don't think this DLC is going to be too terribly long. Like it might be for us because we're like 100% shit, but you know. If you were just running the story, I don't think it would take too long. And we have made it, made it. We've already talked to her, it's fine. Hey guy, you want to improve my spear now? Is this what you- Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you, you are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is, but I'm grateful. No need for thanks, only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Really? Cool. We'll take it. For spear modification trophy earned, nice. Go and upgrade that. Now, what do we what do we need? Rabbits, fishes, foxes, raccoons. Just kill everything. Just kill everything you see. Especially rabbits, fishes, foxes, and raccoons. And squirrels. Storm bolts, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. That's gonna oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Seeker. Nice. 
Now we can probably, I think I want to grab this, and then I think I'm going to start focusing on um, critical hit tree here for double and triple shot. Yeah. All right. That's going to do it for me, guys. See you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.